Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adriana. This channel is dedicated to fragrances. Now it's part two of uh, summer fragrances, like hot summer fragrances. And I just have the samples now. Uh, some of them I plan to have a bottle, but not now. <laughs> Later on, because I still have quite a lot of perfumes to, to wear. So, uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is uh, Coco Mademoiselle, the Eau de Parfum. So, Coco Mademoiselle is an amber floral. Um, this has um, citrus fruits, uh, it has white flowers, rose, uh, it has ylang ylang as well, but it's not so ylang. Uh, it has patchouli, so, you know, Chanel uh, does uh, quite well the patchouli. So it, it's a little musky, uh, it has vetiver, vanilla, tonka. So um, this, uh, this is how the bottle looks like here. Uh, this is like a very, uh, at least to my nose, a very um, everyday type of fragrance. Uh, but if you consider the hot summer days, uh, maybe in the evening, uh, just one spray is enough because it has a very good longevity, longevity and very good silage. So, uh, Coco Mademoiselle uh, de Parfum. Uh, then I have from uh, Maison Lancôme, um, Haute Parfumière Paris, uh, Peau Tetre. So, peu, uh, I don't know how to say, Peau peu Tetre. Uh, my French is not good, so... I hope I pronounced right, so you can see the name here, uh, Peut-être. So, uh, this is a lovely, lovely uh, amber floral. Uh, I really like amber, amber florals. Uh, this has a musk, uh, rose, and benzoin. Has a um, moderate longevity, moderate silage. Really nice uh, to wear during the day, warm summer days. Uh, the other one that I have, um, for those who really like uh, rose, um, also from Maison Lancôme, uh, it's Mille et une rose, uh, roses, so 1001 roses. Uh, this one, uh, I sprayed on the, the paper, uh, on all of my samples, so I could uh, talk a little more about that. So... Uh, it's a fruity floral, so it has, uh, the, the rose is the main uh, character here, but it opens with bergamot, um, orange, pear, a lot of rose and amber. This has also moderate uh, longevity and moderate silage. This is perfect for those who really, really like rose perfume. Um, then I have the Lino La Rose uh, from Parfums de Marly. This is a fruity floral. Um, it's uh, milder than the Lina. It's really lovely. Uh, this is how the bottle looks like. It's uh, more transparent. Uh, the, the Lina bottle is uh, like an opaque, uh, like a plain uh, light pink, but this is um, like transparent. You can see the liquid, but it's like a pink uh, blush, uh, yeah, type of uh, glass. So. Mm, this is really lovely. It has lychee, pear, bergamot, rose, peony, aquatic notes, musk, woodsy notes, vetiver. This uh, parfums de Marly, they they all um, are. Uh, this is uh, the parfum. Uh, they are all very very long lasting and uh, with a very strong silage. So for very warm summer days, I would say you could wear just one spray of this one uh, in the evening. So, because it's very strong, can be very overwhelming. Uh, the Lina La Rose. Uh, the other one that I have here is uh, from YSL. Uh, this is Le Vestiaire, Le Vestiaire de Parfum line. It's like a private line of YSL. This is blouse. So, blouse, um, mm, this is like a, another toilette of the Lina. Uh, it's uh, two different companies, right? YSL and the uh, Parfums de Marly. But the perfumer is the same. It's a uh, Quantum Biche. So uh, he kind of made for 
by a cell blouse, uh, similar notes of the Nina. So this one is pink pepper, bergamot, galbanum, rose angelica, musk and cashmere. And, uh, it's a, a musky, uh, floral, uh, woody kind of perfume. Uh, this is like a moderate longevity, moderate silage. It's milder than uh, Delina. Uh, so this is uh, very good to be uh, worn during the day. Uh, not, not, don't spray a lot. Just spray a little bit um, on the clothes and enjoy your uh, warm summer day. Another one from uh, Parfums de Marly. Um, this is uh, Valaya. So it's the newest uh, one. This is also like Delina La Rose, has a transparent uh, bottle. And this is, uh, uh, that's, that's also Quantum Biche, the, the perfumer of Valaya. And um, Quantum Biche made all the Delinas, the Exclusive, the La Rose, and the Original, and Valaya for Parfums de Marie. And uh, Valaya has, is a musky floral citrus type of perfume so it has aldehydes uh, it has peach mandarin bergamot orange blossom lily petalia petalia is a synthetic note uh, resembles like um, a bouquet of flowers also vetiver quantum Beach knows how to use vetiver in all of his uh, perfume creations i really like it um also has mahonia musk and broxen akigala wood uh, and vanilla it's a very musky perfume uh, really lovely for uh, warm summer days but you know like uh, all parfums de marly the longevity and silage is very strong so <coughs> excuse me i have to drink water mm. hydrate it's a very warm day today and when i talk too too much so <coughs> i get a little dry on my throat so anyway it has very good longevity longevity very good silage and um it's nice to be worn during this warm summer evenings musk therapy now from initio so musk therapy mm, it's a uh, de parfum very long lasting uh very good silage <coughs> it's a woody floral musk uh, it has musk, blackcurrant, bergamot, mandarin, magnolia, sandalwood, and hedion. Uh, this is a lovely musk, and uh, actually is the only musk that uh, is pleasant to my nose, and um, it's lovely. But as it is very long-lasting and has a very good sillage, I would say that this is perfect for the evening as well. Uh, just apply a little bit, and um, you're going to smell incredible. Another one, um, this is from uh, the Privé line of Armani, George Armani Privé line. And this is Bleu uh, tur Turquoise or tur Turquoise. I sprayed here. This is really lovely, very unisex. And uh, this is like an amber spicy. Uh, this has salt, incense, black pepper, ylang ylang, a tropical yellow flower. It has cypriot, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood, and moss. This is woody. It's pleasant. Uh, very nice to be worn uh, in the evening. Very long-lasting, very good sillage, but just apply a little bit. And then it's nice for the evening. Another one is uh, from uh, Dior. And this is really one that I like a lot. And that's uh, Gris Dior. Mm, I love it. This is uh, a woody rose. Um, and uh, so Gris Dior uh, has patchouli, bergamot, amber, sandalwood, cedar, rose, oak, moss. It's a woody rose. As I said, it has a good silage and very pleasant and uh, very long lasting. That's also very good for the evening. So Gris Dior from Dior. This is with the Parfum. Um, yes, now I'm going to talk about Chanel, the private line. And this is uh, the Cologne uh, from Chanel. And uh, this is a very citrus. So it's uh, the Parfum. So if you like citrus uh, perfumes, uh, 
It's citrus fruits with green notes, neroli, uh, petty grain, and spicy notes, uh, musk, and tonka. Uh, this has a moderate longevity, moderate silage. And um, I would say that this perfume, uh, it's, as it is very fresh and pleasant, uh, this can be worn during the day, the, the very warm summer days. Uh, but don't spray a lot, just uh, enough. Uh, so if you like citrus, this is a good one. Another one from the um, exclusive, Les Exclusives de Chanel, it's uh, Paris de Ville. So Paris uh, de Ville, de Ville, I think it's uh, how to pronounce. This is a very aromatic uh, because it has uh, basil, Citrus fruits is also very citrus, it's citrus aromatic, it actually is sheep. Uh, it has petit grain, green notes, uh, white floral, it has rose and patchouli. So mm, this is um, very uh, pleasant as well, has a moderate uh, longevity, moderate silage. So I would say an uh, evening wear for this one. Uh, not day wear because it's um, it's very aromatic, so it's nice when there is a fresh breeze in the evening. Um, one that I like very much it's uh, this one uh, from uh, Atelier de des Ors or Atelier d'Ors, uh, Riviera Drive is uh, the parfum. Mm, this is a lovely citrus. Um, so uh, no, sorry. This is in Riviera Lazuli, <laughs> not Riviera Drive. This is Riviera Lazuli, um, de parfum, and uh, this one is has citrus notes, um, like all citrus fruits. Uh, has a cypress, cedar, uh, guaiacud, sage. Uh, has fear, uh, immortal flower, and incense. Uh, this has a moderate uh, longevity, moderate silage. And it's a very uh, woody, aromatic. This is nice to be worn during the day, of very warm summer days and evening. So, um, Riviera Lazuli, Atelier de, des Ors or Atelier d'Ors. Um, another one from Atelier des Ors. This is now Riviera Drive, uh, de Parfum. This uh, is very, very aromatic. It's citrus aromatic, it has lemon, rosemary, um, it's very herbal, uh, has absinthe, has cedar, patchouli, a lot of cedar actually, uh, musk and cashmere with moderate longevity, moderate slush. I think this is very, very good for a man. Uh, it's, it's unisex, but it's more man, masculine leaning, uh, more for men. So Riviera Drive. Uh, from Atelier d'Ors can be worn during the day and evening. Another one is uh, from um, Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Le Vestiaire de Parfum, and this is uh, Saharian. Saharian is uh, a lovely, lovely citrus uh, perfume, citrus aromatic. It has, mm, it has um, citrus fruits, white flowers, it has cassis, uh, galbanum, petit grain, ginger, and pink pepper. Uh, this has a very good longevity, very good sillage. Um, this can be worn during the day and evening. But since it has a very good longevity and sillage, just a little bit is enough in those very warm summer days. Um, a very pleasant one. It's a uh, Old uh, Jardin Citer uh, from Hermes. This is the newest one from Hermes. Mm, it's lovely. It's a citrus fruits, pistachio, uh, olive tree, and green accord. It's a woody aromatic with moderate longevity, moderate slush. So this one is very good uh, to be worn uh, during the day and evening. Uh, one that I like a lot, <laughs> and I'd like, I plan to have a bottle. Uh, it's uh, J'adore, and this is Parfum de. Uh, this doesn't have alcohol. And uh, I think this, this is actually the last perfume uh, that uh, Francois de Manchy uh, made for Dior. 
now it's uh, the head perfumer is uh, Francis Courdijan. So I think this was the last from Francois de Manchy. This one is, um, it has uh, jasmine sandback, green notes, honeysuckle, neroli, magnolia, and rose. It's a floral uh, perfume. This is uh, very, very uh, wonderful to be worn um, anywhere uh, at any time uh, and also on the beach, I think. This is really lovely um, in warm summer days. So if you like white florals and if you like uh, this type of perfume uh, from uh, Jador, um, it, it's uh, a gem. Really love it. Now, uh, coming to Guerlain, uh, the last three that I have, uh, it's uh, Pera Granita from Aqua Allegoria, I have here on my hand. It's so lovely. So all the Aqua Allegorias, they are very, very wonderful to be worn in very warm summer days and evenings, uh, and also on the beach. So all of them are perfect for that. So you just pick and choose uh, your taste. So the, the samples that I have, I just have three. Uh, it's Spira Granita, and I really like this one uh, because it's a floral fruity and has citrus fruits, a hedion, pear, orange blossom, osmanthus, musk, cedar, and moss. Really lovely. Uh, it has a moderate longevity and an intimate uh, sillage. So it, mean, it means that um, it's very closer to, to your skin, uh, this type of perfume. But... Um, it's it's so lovely you smell so fresh so beautiful another one it's um flora selva no, flora selvaggia flora selvaggia uh, from guerlain aqua Liguria. it has it's very aquatic it has a lot of violet it has a melon um, it has a jasmine orange blossom iris musk solar notes and aquatic notes uh, very lovely. Uh, it smells a little bit like uh, watermelon, a little bit like La Imperatrice from the Chagabana vibes here, but this is very light, uh, very fresh, aquatic. So it's lovely for those uh, warm summer days and nights. Then I have the last one, Netari di Sole from Aqua Allegoria. And this has honey <laughs> and uh, also orange blossom, watery notes, solar notes, white florals, rose. Um, it's a floral perfume uh, with a lovely uh, honey note that is uh, so juicy and nice. So it's not that very, very sweet. It's uh, fresh, actually. So this has a moderate uh, longevity and um, a moderate silage, but um, it's a little... The silage on this one is better than on those two here. So uh, for thinking about a, a perfume that has the honey note and can stay a little longer from a Allegoria, um, I suggest this one. It's really lovely. So this is it for today uh, for warm summer days and evenings. Uh, I hope you liked this video. So if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell button so you can follow me on my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great time wherever you are.